Okay. Itamex is a good day. It is going on 11 o'clock in the a.m. It's about a quarter two on Moon Day morning. Uh, the last day of May 2021, May 31st. In the last half of the lunar cycle up is Chisket Sathos, the flower moon. And I've just pulled onto the west side today. I am running the studio. I have no instructor today. Um, my instructor had a family emergency, so I'm running the studio, plus fielding wildlife calls. I had a skunk call a little bit earlier that I ended up taking a student on with me. And just now I've received a, my first rattlesnake call of probably the last week or so. Uh, we had that real cold shot. Now it's getting very warm. And uh, in fact, I'm sunburned from just floating around in my kayak yesterday. And uh, yeah, snakes are, snakes are back out. So I'm gonna start getting snake calls again. Um, little update on Susie Q. The little doggy, my chihuahua, who is lost, she is still missing, still absent. I don't know whether she's dead or gone completely feral or whether someone's picked her up or what has happened to her. I put out a $1,000, well, Chels, Chels put down 1000 bucks reward uh, if, if anybody could return her to us. And we haven't heard anything. Nobody has a clue, so... Don't know what to say about that. We'll wait and see if there are any sightings. We won't give up hope, um, but, you know, I don't know what to think at this point. We're more than a week. We're nine days, day nine of Susie being missing. And she's just so tiny, you know? Anyway, we're off to the rattlesnake call. A uh, fella has a rattlesnake in his driveway, so gonna pick that up bring it back near the den site and return to studio as promptly as possible. Little guy, hey? Seems to be mostly what I'm picking up this season. <laughs> so far. What's that? Not today, but the other week when it was still warm. Oh, yeah. And he was just looking at them, and that's how he saw it. He just woke up and he was. <laughs> so are they, do they travel on their own or do they, do they usually have more than one? Oh no, they're usually, when they're small like that, they're, they're on their own, but he's, right. hello. I'm a little guy. <laughs> yeah, that's he what I hear. this with deer and for deer. Let's see, they right in there. Right. He's showing oh his yeah. Tongue. Showing his tongue. They <laughs> active. Yeah, just a little guy, all right? Yeah, just little, little. Okay. Let's see. Because I'm tempted to get to the next one. He shakes his rattlers, but they don't make a noise yet, do they? No. Doesn't have no, much for buttons it. yet. Oh, it's fine. Right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he all, he's, out his, oh, he's yeah, all upset, rattle. that's for sure. Yeah. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I know you feel bad for him. It's just a little oh. rattle. See if, uh -huh. I can, <laughs> see if I can get you on my first, little... When I first saw him, he was kind of stretched out. I thought it was one of those sticks that fallen out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where are you going, huh? <laughs> the neighbors have two little, your smaller dogs, and they put that snake fence on the yard. Oh, yeah. That yeah, you will last year, remember, we picked one up there, the bigger one. 
you are really tricky to try to grab. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're not like the big ones. Either. No, well, it's finding the balancing point with them. Maybe I'll just use my, I've used my hat before and put them in there. Oh, is that nice? Yeah, maybe I'll do oh, that. Yeah. yeah. All right. I he's, he's You're all upset. Hat. All upset. Yeah. There you go. My goodness, you thought about that yourself, bring it that way. Oh. That's a that's a Ryan original technique. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Improvising. <laughs> all right. I guess we will release this little guy at the pallets here. See if I can even get him on my hook. Just give it one little last attempt here. Look at that, look at that. There you go. Get down the hole. Escape. <laughs> I don't like the knot hole. It's gonna do the backwards sneak. Get him up in. No sooner had I released that baby snake and turned off the camera than we got a call for a, a, a second baby rattlesnake. This one at Cottonwood Park, which is just very nearby, and normally I don't feel any rattlesnakes in Cottonwood Park because that's rattlesnake territory, but this one just happens to be hanging out right at the, at the um, trash can by the parking lot. It's a dangerous place for the snake. People don't follow the rules they disregard the bylaws and bring their dogs and stuff like that around it's you know it's just a dangerous situation so I'm gonna move the snake and, and get it at least away from the, the little path area we're just about there Caller even stuck around. She said the snake is by the trash can. So we'll check it out. Find out what the dealio is. So I wear my sandals on the gravel here. Oh, it's only these manicured areas that cause problems for barefooters like me. Let's see. I'm going to need my stick, or my snake hook, and I think that should be all I need. Let's see that much. Stridently right up here. Hopefully, don't step on the little snake. Where are you? Are you even still here? It's not under the trash can. Probably took off just as soon as the people did. It probably was coiled up, you know, upset because there was people standing there. And then, uh, and then as soon as the caller left to go on her hike or what have you, the snake probably am sprayed. Of course, it could be in one of these little, uh, runners but it doesn't look like it is in danger nor that um, it's going to cause anybody to be in danger so 
That's the job done. I'm out, back to studio. Yeah, so no sooner do I get back to the studio than the girls tell me they need to go craft store shop in Pronto. <laughs> they need... They got certain, certain projects in mind. Back again. Oh, I need a mask. Yeah, that's because that fabric's already fixed. Them ones look really big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are they the same ones? Yeah, them ones. Ooh. It's getting hot. Yeah, end of the day. Obviously, I'm back home. Uh, wasn't too much that I wanted to show you going on at the studio. Everybody's making beadwork jewelry. And I can definitely show you a little bit about that, but maybe on a separate video. Um, we'll see if there's any more rattlesnake calls tonight. I'm kind of hoping it's quiet. I want to get some hot coals going here, make myself a couple of steaks. Went to the Sobeys and got the discount meat, you know. <laughs> a dollar off the five dollar steak. The bad meat. They call it Cobra Kai. Um... Yeah, I'm going to eat some bad meat tonight and maybe have enough left for tomorrow's breakfast and lunch. If I don't get interrupted by snakes and have to suddenly put this out with the hose or something. I also got some lawn mowing that he's doing. Um, yeah, and I'm bachelor for the night. Chelsea's up in the mountains with Cody having a girl's day and a little bit of a mental health break herself like I had yesterday going out kayaking on the lake. And then the boys are with their grandma. So, check these out. This is very nice, these poppies, hey? I think we have a bunch of them just burst here. I got some weeding to do. <laughs> Lawn cleaning to do. Mowing to do. And it's so hot. Boy. Anyway kick back and try to relax and enjoy my evening. If anything comes up, I'll certainly include it in the video. <laughs> 